Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to know about quantum computing. First let us know what is quantum computing. First it's or virtual reality. It's something called quantum computing. And it could completely revolutionize every aspect of our society from healthcare to finance and even national security. But what is it? And how does it work? When can we expect it? And what could happen if it gets into the wrong hands? This is what if. And here's what would happen if we had working quantum computers today. Basically, a quantum computer is a super efficient version of the regular computers you already know and love. When a regular computer is used to solve a problem, it has to filter through all the possible answers one at a time. Whereas a quantum computer can filter through one billion possible answers at once to find the correct one in just a fraction of a second. The technology is so advanced that hardly anyone knows how to program it, let alone how to use it. So, how much power and control would quantum computing give to the first country or person who perfects it? All right, to understand how quantum computers are going to change your life, it helps to understand how they would work first. Today, computers are binary. They process information using bits, where every bit can only exist as a one or a zero, and nothing else. A bit is relatively simple. It's the representation of one state or another, like if a light bulb is on or off. In today's computers, a bit is represented by a current pulse or an electrical voltage. Are you still with me? All right, we're almost there. In the case of quantum computers, information is processed using qubits. These are similar to bits, but they can be ones and zeros at the same time. To understand the difference between bits and qubits, picture a sphere and give it both a north and south pole, where the north pole represents one and the south pole represents zero. With a bit, the poles are the only usable spaces on the entire sphere, and only one of them can be used at a time. With a qubit, the whole sphere becomes a usable territory. You don't have to grasp the complicated physics behind it, but the main point to take away is that qubits can deliver more complex data and allow us to encode more information into much smaller computers. Some of the most progressive tech companies like Google, NASA, and IBM have already made versions of this technology. Now, they're racing to perfect it. Once they're perfected, quantum computers will offer lots of benefits. For one thing, they'd be a game changer in the field of cryptography, mainly because of their ability to enhance security protocols by generating truly random numbers. Because of this protection, communications devices that are quantum-based could be used to transmit medical and government records, defense data, or other sensitive materials without fear of them ending up in front of the wrong eyes. Being able to calculate and process so much information so much faster would help us to find new drugs to treat diseases. It would speed up the development of life-changing medications. Quantum computers would give us the power to better deal with climate change by allowing for better software models describing what is happening to our atmosphere. And that could help us reverse the adverse effects of climate change. But it's not all good news. As we said before, no one's perfected it yet. If the first person who does wants to use the tech for ulterior motives, we could all be in trouble. As soon as a working quantum computer exists, our modern cybersecurity methods would become almost useless. Today's encryption algorithms use huge math equations and problems that are virtually impossible to solve. A quantum computer with its zero and one dualities would have the power to solve these algorithms with relative ease. So I guess we'll just have to cross our fingers that one of the good guys figures it out first. Maybe we could even use these early generation quantum machines to perfect future models and make them even more powerful. But that's
Yeah, now you have an idea about quantum computing. So let's get into more details. This is my blog my, about quantum computing. Quantum computing is a study of a non-classical model of computation, whereas the traditional methods such as tuning, tu tuning machine or lambda calculus rely on classical representations of computational memory. A com quantum computation could transform a memory into superposition. Okay, now enough of the text. Quantum computing is a device that could perform such computation that normal classical computers could not. But quantum com computing is based on quantum physics. Quantum physics is all about subatomic particles like electrons, protons, photons, etc. For, let's, for example, if we have a, a game of tossing a coin, we have a 50% chance of winning for a user. But whereas if we use a quantum computer, quantum computer has 90% chance of winning. So you can understand the power of quantum computing. IBM has already developed a quantum computer, but still we are still we are in the starting stage to a beta version. Quantum computer needs to be handled very carefully as it is complex. The quantum co in the normal computers or classical computers, the information is stored in bits or byte in bits a in each bit it can be a either one or zero whereas in a quantum computer it can be either zero or one or it can exit in both the states one or zero or it can exit in both the states at the same time now we have to understand certain topics like superposition coherence and and loss of subatomic particles superposition means overlapping of states at the same time and the fundamental unit of memory in a quantum computer is called qubit quantum computing began in early 90s by physicist Paul, Paul Benioff proposed by a quantum mechanical model of Turing machine Richard Feynman and Yuri Yaman later suggested that a quantum computer could perform certain simulations and reach out for a far regular computers in 94 Peter Shaw developed polynomial time quantum algorithm for factoring the integers. This was a major breakthrough in the subject at the time. And an important method is asymmetric key exchange known as RSA is based on the belief that factoring integers is computationally difficult but whereas quantum computers can do it with ease. Quantum computation describes network of quantum logic gates. We may represent the state of memory as a vector whose length is equal to the number of possible states of memory. So a memory consisting of n bits of information has 2 power n possible states. We also have this over here 0. It can be either in 0 state that is 1 0 or it can be either in 1 state 0 1 or it can be in both the states at the same time which is nothing but the quantum superposition. We can derive we have we can derive the equation with alphas and betas psi and alpha square plus beta square is equal to one with the modulus and let's know about the advantages or benefits of the quantum computing medical advances many diseases can be cured or life expectancy can be improved or prevention of diseases can be done solving complex mathematical problems and linear problems becomes easier it, it, it might it might find cure for many diseases that are uncurable like cancer and another important benefit and major game changer would be cryptography cryptography is nothing but transferring of data in a cryptic form safe transfer can be done using for defense health and government projects and major sectors whereas it can also be used for predicting forecasts and natural calamities or disasters preventing them and taking precautions conclusion i conclude this video by saying that quantum computing is still in development mode but it if but if it 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 can be used properly we can use for more greater benefits but if this technology is in wrong hands it can be misused it can be anything can be hacked using quantum computing so but let's think on the bright side and 
if we have the if we use a fusion of both classical and quantum computers a better computer would come and it would be a master computer and this would change the our future thank you thanks for watching my video hit the like button if you like the video hit the dislike if you dislike the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you